Hi everybody, I'm JC. I am going to walk you through my blepharoplasty journey. Um, I have decided to get a quad blepharoplasty done, which means I'm going to have both of my upper and both of my lower eyelid areas um, done. I chose an ocular plastic surgeon who is a board certified ophthalmologist as well as a board certified plastic surgeon who specializes in eyes. I contacted four different surgeons before I selected the one I decided to go with. The price ranges that I ended up with were anywhere between $3,000 and $11,000 to have a quad blepharoplasty done, which is a huge range. Um, I think I had a $3,000, $7,000, $9,000, and eleven dollars or something like that. Expect that five to $8,000 range for a quad. So my surgery is tomorrow. I took some footage a couple of weeks ago when I first went in for my consultation that I'll put in here before we jump to the surgery, but I am not doing this for a medical reason at this point. And if I wait longer, then my health and my insurance would cover this procedure because it would start blocking my vision. My vision is not currently being blocked, so I decided to go ahead and do it now, take advantage of the aesthetic benefits, but um, it's not medically necessary at this point. Um, I just really hope it goes well. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to see the ocular plastic surgeon about having a lower blepharoplasty done, possibly an upper. So see how it goes, and I'll report back after I'm done. So I wanted to show you exactly where we're starting. Okay, as you can see with my eyes closed, I have this roll of all of this extra skin right here that's coming down, especially on this side, over the corner of my eye. And it's actually keeping this eyelash, these eyelashes here from even growing, it's coming down. And when I smile, see how it comes all the way down over at the corner. The other thing I wanted you to see was the bags under my eyes. My fat pads have, as many people's do as they age, migrated. So they're now sitting down here rather than up so the dark that I get under here is shadow. So that's what we're starting with, and I will give you day-by-day -day updates as I heal. So they have marked up my eyes, showing where they're gonna remove the skin. The stitches come out and then they come up and they've been taped to the, the thread to the top of my head and over here. So there's no knots. They just kind of like go in, come out and stick to my head. Everything feels just sort of scratchy. The worst part was trying to sleep on my back at a 30 to 45 degree angle. My lower back is actually really sore from trying to sleep like that. The tape here is mostly here for support and structure. So it's been peeling away from my skin and I actually cut it back. The doctor said it was okay, so it wasn't sticking up. Um, I was allowed to take my tape off, as you can see. And here's what we're looking like now. I have found that I really have been appreciating, I've been putting these um, eye drops they're like these little single serve drops because my eyes feel really dry. Um, I've also been using some Arnica gel just right here underneath. I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but I decided to try. It's really uncomfortable. Um, you know, there's that difference between pain and discomfort. I'm just really uncomfortable. Overall, I'm feeling okay. It's, it's still hard to sleep. Part of the reason it's hard to sleep is um, you have to lay on your back somewhat on an incline and that's really uncomfortable. What I have found has been helpful though, I'm gonna show you this in case you're interested. It's uh, kind of hard to see. This pillow is designed to sleep on your back. So you sleep like this, but then as you can see, if you turn your head, there's this cutout right here. So your eyes, your face doesn't get smashed into the pillow. This pillow has been a lifesaver during this process because it's been able to kind of keep me so that if I do roll my head back and forth, my my face, my eyes don't get smashed. So let me get up here close. See at the ends of those stitches? 
See how they're super close to the inside corner of my eye there? So when I blink, the ends of the stitches kind of poke me. Everything is just prickly and I don't, I don't like it. Everything, as it heals, everything itches. Have Vaseline. Um, I have kept on my stitches just to kind of keep things from feeling tight and the skin from getting too itchy. So that kind of makes me look even puffier than I am. but there's stuff that kind of is oozing and crusty here along the bottom. They said it was glue, so I've been not picking at it, but man, I want to. It's just like, uh, um, I'm still not sleeping well. It's really hard to sleep on my back, propped up with pillows. Also is very just uncomfortable still. I don't know how many more times I can say that. Everything is just kind of scratchy and itchy and puffy and sore. And part of what's so scratchy are the stitches. Oh, hi, Needy. Do you wanna come? You want to come say hello to the people? Yeah? No? Okay. So anyway, here's the up close for today. Um, here's the uh, updates. Here's, oh, before, I wanted to, to show you, I have been using my red light, my Omnilux during this whole process. Well, I want my eyes to get the light. So what I've done was just held it like so. I just figure it's not gonna hurt. Um, it probably is not worth going out and spending the several hundreds of dollars to buy an Omnilux mask just for this purpose. But if you were wondering about pulling the trigger and buying one, it's a, uh, it is a good use of it. So I'm um, actually having these filaments. So these the very thin stitches you have to be careful not to catch the these filaments like on anything like when you're touching you, know, you just have to be really careful with yourself for that reason they, it makes it fairly obvious that something's going on with my face so I haven't really left the house much I don't know if your doctor will do this if it's something you're if you're hoping to try to be out in public and and have it be pretty discreet um, and be able to just wear sunglasses and not have anybody really notice, then you may want to have a conversation with your surgeon and find out for sure how they plan to handle it before so that you know whether or not to expect the, the threads on your face or not. But I've been watching some of other people's journeys on YouTube doing upper and lower blepharoplasties and um, Pretty much down to the person, everybody says that they've had no pain or that they took their pain pills just for like a day and that it was basically no big deal, not that uncomfortable, really just not, they looked so much worse than they felt. I've had sort of the opposite problem. I, I think, look better than I feel. Um, I've healed up really quickly, I think, um, and I look pretty good, like I didn't have extensive bruising. Uh, overall, this has really gone quite smoothly, but um, I have been really uncomfortable. I definitely took my pain pills the first couple days and then I've not really let the Tylenol wear off very much. Everything has felt tight and hot and itchy. It's hard to sleep on my back, um, propped up with pillows like that. My lower back is killing me. I've just been uncomfortable. I haven't been able to, you know, I've only gotten to wash my hair once and it was quite an adventure to try to wash my hair because I have a lot of hair and not get soapy stuff all over my face and so trying to do that wasn't easy. I'm really glad that I haven't had to be anywhere. So don't do this unless you have a, at least a solid week or until your stitches come out. Um, you may not have it the way I did, like it may, you may be feeling really good after only a day or two or three, but um, you might be really uncomfortable and really just not hardly be up for doing much. That's been my experience anyway. So tomorrow I get my stitches out. My stitches came out about an hour ago. As you recall, there was that filament, the stitch that came actually out of my forehead and taped to my head and then came out over here and taped down. Well, that gets pulled all the way through and out, which is a very um, uncomfortable feeling. Um, and then all of the little black stitches that were along the sides here get snipped out. You know, they snip the stitches and pull them out and uh, my skin had kind of healed around them. It was a very strange, like a uh, little pin pricky pinches is sort of what it feels like. It, it's not comfortable, but it also doesn't last very long. It only took a grand total of three minutes to take my stitches out. So it was not that big of a deal.
I'm feeling much better now that I have these stitches out of my eyes. The dissolvable ones on the underside are still there, um, and they're still a little scratchy, and he said it could take another week for those to completely dissolve. Um, the bruising on this side is essentially gone underneath. Um, it's still a little red and sore on the top. Um, and on this side, I actually put, the doctor said I was allowed, I put a little bit of makeup over the bruising that was right here. Um, but there's no makeup on my eyelids or up next to my eyelash line at all. But he did not, you can see, especially if I smile, my fat pads that are up here, he didn't touch them. I told him not to take them out. I actually like my hooded eyes and I didn't want to look hollow and have him take these out. So there's still a fat pad sitting right there that still kind of sits down fairly low, but I like it that way. Um, I didn't want to have him remove it. Some people really prefer it removed and have that. I just was afraid on my face it would look too hollow and I would look sick or gaunt. I'm still kind of puffy and a little sore and everything still, but overall I'm healing up really, really nicely. It's looking pretty good overall. Here in my left side, it's not healing up as well as the other side is, but it's gonna be okay. I also have, if you can see here, these, this little piece roll here of this fat pad is not laying totally flat. My surgeon said that will work itself out over the next, you know, month or two. As far as my experience has been, I think you would be okay planning to go back to work after your stitches come out, especially if you're working, if you wear glasses or if you're working um, in a way where you can either work from home or on Zoom or something like that, this doesn't show at all. Like, or maybe you just don't care. That's fine too. <laughs> you don't have to care. If you're, if you care whether or not it's obvious that you've had um, your eyes done, then you plan on not going back to work until after your stitches are out and Ideally not for two weeks. I've got a little concern and I'll show you where it is. Oh, every time I start talking, Newton starts meowing at me. He thinks I'm talking to him. You'll notice here on this right eye that it's healing the stitches and everything out here really well. There's almost no scarring at all. Hi baby, do you want to come up here and say hello to everyone? Come here. Goodness, Fluffer White. Are you the cutest? So, this is Nudie's appearance for this video. Hi. No, we're done? Okay. Now, what I want you to see here on my left eye, this spot right here, like a hole in my head, almost. It's the one spot that's not healing. It looks like there's a piece of suture. Like, it's still black, and it looks like I've got a chunk of something left in there. Something just doesn't feel right. Well, life kind of took a little turn and uh, I ended up moving and giving me an update on what happened with this lump on the side of my head. So it turns out I was right. Something was not quite okay. It was called a granuloma. I basically uh, went in and the doctor dug out. There was a whole, it's kind of like a little abscess sort of thing underneath the skin. He dug it out of there. It took about a day to close up and it's been perfect ever since. So if you have something that does not look or feel quite right or isn't healing the same way as everything else, uh, go with your gut. Go in and just make sure your doctor looks at it because I probably should have gone in sooner. Okay, I'm going to do some really up close. I'm going to do my best here. I don't have my full studio set up. This is that left side that had the granuloma that is now totally healed up. So that's the final results. I overall am very pleased. One thing that's been interesting is to see how once I took the fat pads out here, I lost that puff, which was great, but now I have more wrinkles. <laughs> I'd rather have the wrinkles than I would the puff, but just be prepared for that. Okay, thanks so much for hanging with me this whole time, and uh, I hope this is really helpful. I hope you make a good decision for yourself. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.